Hi, how you doing? Get a hope. Oh, I've been doing a lot of books today. And here's one that I got to add with it. Mikio Kaku writes visions. I've been reading a lot of his books and he is a fascinating writer. He is really good in the science stuff. And uh, he also, I also read Hyperspace. <clears throat> he is author of. And visions is how science will revolutionize the 21st century. And I decided to read just a little bit of the preface here and tell you what it's about. And this was a very fascinating book. If you're thinking about the future, this is a good place to, to study the points that other people are thinking about. Especially scientists, they have a catbird seed up there over our society and our country. So the preface says, this is a book about the limitless future of science and technology focusing on the next 100 years and beyond. A book with proper scope, depth, and accuracy necessary to summarize the exciting and fast-paced progress of science could not be written without the insights and wisdom of the scientists who are making the future possible. Of course, no one person can invent the future. There is simply too much accumulated knowledge. There are too many possibilities and too many speculations. In fact, most predictions of the future have floundered because they have reflected the eccentric, often narrow viewpoints of a single individual. The same is not true of visions. In the course of writing numerous books, articles, and science commentaries, I have had the rare privilege of interviewing over 150 scientists from various disciplines during a 10-year period. On the basis of these interviews, I have tried to be careful to delineate the time frame over which certain predictions will or will not be realized. Scientists expect some predictions to come about by the year 2020. Others will not materialize until much later, from 2050 to the year 2100. As a result, not all predictions are created equal. Some are more forward-looking and necessarily more speculative than others. The time frames I've identified in the book, of course, are to be taken only as guidelines to give readers a sense of when certain trends and technologies can be expected to emerge. The outline for the book is as follows. In part one of Visions, I discuss the remarkable developments that await us in the computer revolution, which are already beginning to transform business, communications, and our lifestyles, and which I believe will one day give us the power to place intelligence in every part of our planet. In part two, I turn to the biomecular revolution, which will ultimately give us the power to alter and synthesize new forms of life and create new medicines and therapies. Part three focuses on the quantum revolution, perhaps the most profound of the three, which will give us control over matter itself. And he gives thanks to lots of people in here. And if you want to know who it is, then you need to get this book. Buy it or check it out at the library. It's very, very good. He's a very good writer. And there's lots of things in here that maybe you'll want to argue about or are eager for. And producing new life is going to create a big... A discussion over on it uh, concerning golems which I knew human life could be called that because it was when it was done before in the Jewish family and there's more to talk about on that and we need to hear more stories on it and I'm hopeful someone out there hears this and starts telling us more about the golems and stuff instead of just telling us stories but discussing anything they've heard besides just the stories you know what I mean <laughs> so 
I have to return this to the library now so somebody can check it out. Y'all have a good one, day or night. Later.